Today I'm going to tell you about a story of an electronic component that had a major impact on the outcome of World War II. The story itself has a number of twists and turns and it's actually really exciting. To find out more we need to wind the technology clock back from today to the time of valves or vacuum tubes as they were also known. The big problem in the 1930s was that the connectors or bases for the valves were large and this meant that the leads from the actual electrodes to the connections were long and this limited their high frequency performance. But there was one component that was needed for a very particular use. It was very special. Not only did it look different but also its performance was very different. And this component was an EF50 valve. Now it wasn't different just because it was red but what it did have was an all glass envelope and the pins came out directly from the envelope and this gave it much better performance. A metal can was placed over the glass envelope and this gave protection and it also acted as a screen and this valve had much superior performance and it was intended for use in television receivers as the television service was just being inaugurated in the UK at the time. So why then was it so important for the British war effort? Well it was because television receivers and RDF equipment or as uh, we now know it radar these had very similar requirements and the superior performance of the EF50 made it absolutely essential. It was radar that gave the British RAF Spitfires and Hurricanes time to get airborne and get up to the right altitude before the oncoming attacks arrived. But there was one big issue. This valve was made by Philips and Philips were based in Eindhoven in Holland and this was 1940. With the Nazis poised to invade Holland the required manufacturing equipment and large numbers of completed valves and also some bases were loaded onto trucks to take them to a port so that they could be put onto a ship and taken to Britain. This was only just in time because hours later the Nazis invaded and had they got all this equipment it would have cut off the British supply to these precious valves. Fortunately the precious cargo was loaded onto a ship where it was then transported to England despite some aerial attacks it reached there safely and it was then transported on to northern England where there was a mullard factory where manufacture could then start again. So the EF50 made it to Britain only just in time and despite some heavy fighting in the Battle of Britain and some dreadful losses it helped win this initial engagement so Britain could fight on. If you've enjoyed this video then please watch more of my videos like this one. Thank you.